And right now I'm joined by Hank from Henry Engineering. So Hank, before we get into all these different products behind us, why don't you tell us what really is the company Henry Engineering? What do you guys specialize in? What we're all about. Well, our motto is we build solutions. Uh, for about the last 36 years now, uh, we've been building uh, products that solve problems for uh, the radio engineering industry. Um, without going into too much technical detail, a lot of our products are uh, interface devices that kind of help you get from here to there okay. when otherwise you couldn't get there from here. You know, they make things compatible that didn't used to be compatible. And uh, the products make it easy to, to integrate the bigger pieces in the studio so that everything talks to each other the way it should and all the interoperability actually works. Uh, sometimes you have uh, gear that, two pieces of gear that aren't compatible with each other and you put one of our devices in between them and now they can talk to each other. So we build solutions, that's what we do. So we were discussing before how you guys are of course evolving and you know continuing to update your products. So what is the newest thing that's coming out uh, within Henry Engineering? We have uh, a new gadget called uh, Sportscaster coming out later this year. It should be ready to ship probably uh, June or July. Uh, if you're familiar with our sports pod, the sports pod is an existing product that's been on the market for about five years and it's uh, used uh, for play-by-play -play, uh, audio at uh, either radio or TV coverage of sporting events. When you have a, a, a TV broadcast of like a football game, you have a lot of players. You have your announcers calling the game. You might have a field reporter down on the field interviewing players or a referee. And then you have cameramen and you have a producer. And the, the key to a successful, well-coordinated broadcast is the, the back-channel communication between all those different players. The producer needs to be able to talk to the announcers. The announcers need to be able to talk to each other off the air. They need to talk to the field reporter. The producer needs to be able to call shots to the cameraman. Well, the piece of equipment that does that has been missing. So this new product, the Sportscaster, is the missing link that fills in all those holes and provides all that communication between all the different players in the broadcast. So what the Sportscaster will do is it'll let you take maybe three sports pods, give each one to an announcer. So you might have a main announcer, a color man, and maybe a statistician uh, or a spotter. And then you got your guy down on the field with his field mic, and you have your cameraman, and you have your producer. So what the sportscaster does is let you take the talent, call in the game, mix those guys together, add in the field reporter, perhaps add in uh, the PA announcer, uh, add in a crowd mic, put all that together, and that becomes your on-the-air pro program mix. But in addition to that, you've got four back-channel intercom paths that are all separate, but they're all controlled from one place. So the producer can talk off the air to the talent. The talent can talk amongst themselves. The announcers can talk to the spotter or the statistician. Uh, the talent can talk to the field guy to cue him, you know, to tell him when he's ready to go on the air with his interview. The producer can talk to the field guy. The producer can call the shots to the cameraman. And all this is controlled using relatively simple controls, knobs and buttons and things, uh, from this new product called Sportscaster. So you guys really, you know, complete this puzzle. Yeah. Um, and so really, you know, you touched on the idea of using it for the sports game. So here at NAB, who are you really hearing from a lot? What's kind of your ideal audience? For the Sportscaster? Uh, it's designed for what, what I would call semi-pro video, which would be um, high schools, middle schools, colleges, universities. Anybody who's doing semi-pro video broadcasts of sporting events. So there's a lot of, that. a lot of that going on because with the web, 
now you have an outlet to broadcast this video coverage. You don't need a TV station, you can use the web. So, and like you say, the sportscaster is the missing link. It's what ties everything together, brings everything all into one place so that a producer can run the whole show. And uh, up until now, it took a whole carload of equipment to do this. You know, you needed to have audio mixers, you need to have mixers for headphones, distribution equipment, tons of cabling. It, it was just a big rat's nest of wiring and complication. And the sportscaster will sort of condense it all down into a very simple package that's easy to install and easy to use. Well, thank you, Hank, so much for taking time to talk with us today, and we hope the rest of NAB goes really well for you. Thanks so much, and we'll keep you posted on when we're ready to go. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.